sins and I will never forget the night I decided to not wear a condom and invincible young soul turned into I cannot go home after the doctor told me these dreadful news because this this only happens to them not me this this could have all been avoided this this I was pressured I was pressured I was pressured to feel what another person's insides felt like deep inside of me now I'm six feet deep behind heaven's gates riding to help save the next young souls from my destiny listen carefully what i'm about to say is neither a blessing nor a curse but do not be alarmed for i know this is not the first time first time do you remember your first time the whispers, the sweet nothing, adrenaline rushing because you could finally put Pop's porno flicks to use. No backspace and delete in the history, history in the making. History is what he will be because he is faking just to get between your legs and older girl trying to take advantage of baby bro because baby bro just wants to be a man. But being a man is not created through sweet talks and role play. Being a man is not created through laying in bed trying to fill a void. And I understand your father wasn't there or no. You cannot take your frustrations out between the girl's legs because you thought being a man was defined by what you do in bed. A real woman, she don't lay down with dogs. A real woman saves her own soul. Yet you crowd around the lunch table debating on who hit it first. And yes, baby girl, you just became a hoe. Every 10 seconds, someone's baby girl is considered a hoe. And baby girl, that is someone I will never get to know because I forgot. I forgot to wear a condom, invincible young soul turned into I cannot go home after the doctor told me these dreadful news. I thought it was just a simple cold. And up until now, I never considered abortion as an option, but for me, abortion really isn't an option. His blood is married to my body and I don't even have his last name. Yet I bear his untold legacy that won't end in the delivery room wrapped up in the pain of knowing that I can't give this bundle of sorrow up for adoption. And this doctor keeps telling me to stop thinking so negatively. But how can I when I... When I just found out I'm, <laughs> um, I'm HIV positive.